We'll be studying Diamond 8 Say, and I'm just checking my view of the camera there, and I believe, yeah, I'm going to have good arm movement about me. All right. I sent um, both a video for you to watch, as well as um, a printed resource to compare Say and Die. Diamond 8, I'm just walk forward a little bit as we're talking. Diamond 8 was, uh, it is a creation of Masashi Minagawa. Um, there's some articles I'll send later um, when he describes it, but to him, when he created this movement, he pulled in almost all of the elements, if not all, uh, within Shintaido. So the sword work, but tension goso, eiko, uh, meditation. And as we move through this, he has a clear vision of say, die, stepping, and then more movements beyond that um, as ways to study uh, many of the foundational movements, Eiko, Tenshin Goso, through this. And it was a very inspirational moment he got when he visualized flower petals uh, coming down as he was um, performing at one point. So very inspirational as his, his part. What I want to say first about say and die is that say uh, can be defined two different words, ways. Formal, which means you have a clear path and you do it that way. It also can be holy, so it's very meditative and spiritual, and it can be that study as well. Dai can be a bigger movement um, and um, more expressive, as we've experienced other times if you use Dai. So in Say, um, our eyes will stay focused for almost all the movements except the very first opening one. Um, and we will not be spiraling our body in Say. As we move to Dai, we will see that our eyes move and our body spirals more. But say is very, what they call two-dimensional as it's moving in just this realm right around us. And our eyes will stay focused. So that's the basics to say. There's a whole list of many different ways that it uh, can be compared and contrast. I'm gonna start first with um, our open hand movement and then I will pick up a sort, short sword and you are welcome to either stay open hand or join in moving with a sword if you feel like you wanna try it. All right, let's uh, see if we're ready to begin. So, ready? And standing, feet are slightly apart. Nice Ten Chi Jin connection of heaven, earth, ourself, others. Just take a moment to breathe. Rob did a nice job of getting us centered for here. So just check, see if you're feeling present, if you're feeling balanced. And open our arms. And here is one time where actually you're going to go ahead and look up. Beyond that, we will keep our eyes forward. Looking up toward the heavens, our hands are open. And it's as if we feel the sword fall into our body. Come down into Congo E. You've done this in time now. And relax your arms. I'm going to do it again. Just turn slightly in the diagonal if anyone needs that perspective. For open hand, my hands are at the side, starting as many of the other open hand movements have. Opening. Uh, appreciating the world. And bringing that down into Kambui. From here, soften your knees so that you drop a little bit further down. Still keep a good tension in good spine and reach out to spear forward. And let my hands drop on my left side. Let's do it again. Opening. I'm going. Dropping a little bit and ski forward. Eyes looking straight ahead and drop to the left. Good. So next, let's practice a middle cut. You've heard me use these terms and Rob many times, a chudan cut. So open, 
to one side. My palm is open and my both palms are open. And we're just gonna cut across our body multiple times. The kata doesn't go this way. I just want the feeling of feeling the cut as your arms move through space. You're actually cutting that space. Turn your hands over and cut again. We're not swinging, we're not slashing, we're intentionally cutting in front of us. Two more. Good, and release. Shake out your wrist for a second. Okay, let's try again. And we're gonna add uh, those five movements together with one chew down pat. Opening. Oh, bringing everything in. I'm going. Drop a little, ski. Hands drop to the left. Raise up to chew down and cut one time across the body. And release. Do it again. Open. Up. Sink a little and ski. Hands drop to the left. Come up. One shoot on across. Drop on the right. So now let's do several movements together of Gaidon and Jogon. So cutting up from your opponent's waist, lower thigh, up through them. Keep your eyes focused forward still and, and say, twist at the top and come down, Jodan. So you'll see my hands, the, as we've talked about many times when we're doing open hand techniques, that the tip of my little finger up the side of my hand, up to my elbow, represents a blade. So this, when we're cutting, then that is what's being represented. I'm cutting here, and this part of me is cutting here. So again, the intentional cut across, and across, up. I'm not going all the way through and down. So just a reminder, the Kai Chokin, which I feel like is a distinctive feature of Shintaido, um, to have that open hand feeling of cutting. All right, let's go through it again. Um, and try, let's start. Let's switch over to our right side now, and we're going to go up Gaidon and down Jogon multiple times. Up. Keep your eye focused forward. At the top, you turn your hand position and come down. The bottom, change your hand position. Come up Gaidon. Turn at the top, down Jogon. One more round. Up. And down. Yeah. Good. Let's add it in um, to our movements as we've gone so far. Opening. Three. Drop. And ski. Go off to my left. I'm up on my left. One shoe down. Drop on my right. A gay down and a joe down. Gay down. Joe down. Come up again on this right hand side and getting prepared to do a shoe down. Shoot on across the middle cut. Drop to my left. Up, gate on. And down, Jodan. 
Very good. We're almost at the end. Let's go through it one more time. I'm going to change my angle. Open. Down to combo E. Sink. Spear out. Drop to my left. Prepare for shoot on. Cut across the middle. Drop on the right. Up gate on. Down go on. Prepare for shoot on. Cross the middle. Drop on the left. Up gate on. Down, Jodha. And as you finish, when it's open hand, or in say, it's a, just a soft little bit of a wakame feeling as you come back, and let your hands come together overhead, and one big cut. Hey. I'm going. And release when it's open hand. All right, let's go all the way through diamond eight, say on the left, and then we'll restart and do diamond eight, say on the right. I will give you that direction. Opening. Angui. Soften and see. Drop to the left. Up. Shoot down. Drop on the right. Up. Get down. Down. Jona. Preparing for shoot on. Cross the middle. Drop on the left. Up. Get down. Down. Jona. It's off in my body. And Dajuna. Hood. And release your hands. Let's try the right side. Opening. Oh. Angui. E. This time drop on the right. That's why it's right side. Drop to the right. Prepare for shoot on. Across. Drop on the left. Up. Gate on. Down. Jonah. Prepare to cut across the middle. Shoot on. Drop on the right. Up. Gate on. Down. Jodan. Soften. And Dajuna. Hey. And release. Let's go ahead and do it. Both sides again, left and right. And I'll try to give minimal narration so we can drop more into a meditative state.
opening. I'm going. Ski. Left. Two down. Three down. Joe down. Two down. Eight down. Two down. Right side. Opening. Ski. Right side. Two down. Gay down. Joe down. Chu down. Ye down. Joe down. Hey. Ongoing. And let's just stand for a moment and let our body absorb the movement. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to get my short sword. It's more of a handle with a little bit of a sword. You might have other short swords, but what might work in your room, if you choose to. Otherwise, stay open-handed. Um, it's just to get the feel of what it might feel like um, if you're outside or you have bigger space and you can work with a boat can or boat toe. Okay. So my sword starts on my right. Passes to my left. And as we've done with sword protocol before, we're preparing to open. And opening is a two down cut across and coming up. Oh. Oh. Dropping down, I'm going. Does it still say? And dropping. Ski, drop to the left. Chew down. To the right. Gay down. Yo down. Two down. Eight down. Two down. Yeah, soften. 
גם שלנו. I'll go away and for the sword, we do go through the finishing movements of, of uh, Gaidan, Barai, to Chuburi, to Noto, and in your saber. So to say you can do a complete finish before we move to the right side. Prepare and open. Ah, oh. I'm moving. Ski. This time, drop to the right. And shoot up. Up on the left. Aidan, Jodan, Chudan, Aidan, Jodan. And preparing for Dajanan. Hey. Yes. Nangari. Chubiri. And Noko. All right, last time through, I'm going to change my direction. You're either open hand or with a sword, your choice. You can set it down if you want to just go back to open hand. Open. Oh. Drop left. Two down. Up on the right. Two down. Two down. Jodan. Jodan. And. Wait. On the way. Jupiter and no song. Right side. Oh. Ski. This time drop right. Children. Drop. 
eran children children eran children Right. Okay. Jubilee. No problem.